This is Lucy. She loves riding bikes, but knows nothing about working on them. And this is Lucy one hour later. In this video, Lucy's gonna change the oil of her bike on her own using just the manual to guide her. Welcome to Mini Tip Monday. That's the wrong tool for the job. Okay. <laughs> If you're watching this, then thanks for your continued support on Patreon. This video was made off the back of your suggestions, and as with every video, I'm excited to help you as best I can. Ask any questions in the comments or on Discord, and I'll do my best. So the way this is gonna work is I'm gonna do the bare minimum to help. What, what I want for this challenge is for Luce to go through the process of learning to work on her bike from scratch. I think for a lot of people, it's a pretty daunting process, yes. and especially if you're not particularly interested, but it's a useful skill. And especially if you have a dirt bike, they come with wonderful things called manuals. These manuals, especially the owner's manuals, have a lot of the basic maintenance things included in them, like changing your oil. So I'm gonna give Luce this manual for her bike and leave her to it, unless she does something really bad or is about to set the whole garage on fire, then I'll step in. Sound good? Yes. There you go. Thanks. Do you have any idea what good safety equipment for changing your oil is? Mm. It's a good start. What about this? I think it's overkill. That's, <laughs> that's perfect. <laughs> Gloves are all you need. Maybe some safety glasses, but we haven't got any, so they'll do. All right. Have you ever read the manual for your bike? No. Have you looked in the manual for your Never. bike? Never. I'm currently looking at the table of contents to see the word oil. Changing the engine oil level and oil filter. Are we changing the filter? Are we cleaning the oil screen? Info, drain engine oil with engine operating temperature. Operating temperature. Is that room temperature? Operating temperature to me is like when it's running, but it said not to do it when it's hot. Wait, do we have to run the engine first? Yes. You do? Yes. How, wait, okay. Let's say it's at operating temperature. What do I then do? Park the motorcycle on a level surface. surface. Uh, remove oil drain plug one. <laughs> okay, I don't know where that is, but we'll find it. <gasps> with a magnet and seal ring. Remove it with a mag oh, with the magnet and seal ring. Uh, so we're one minute into reading the d instructions on a scale of one to 10. How much harder is this than you thought it would be? Very hard. Well, this is listing things. I don't know what they are. Where have the magnets come from? The mysterious oil screen. I don't know what that is. A screen uh, is like a, like a screen you put across something, like a filter, like a little, maybe that's what that is. What's that nice branded boot behind you, I see? <laughs> Zoom, focus, ooh, hello. So I need to get the sump guard off, which I have done before because I've replaced it. So there is, I think it's just these two screws. Torque wrench. No, <laughs> that's not it, is it? Yeah. No, that's not Allen key. A Bacho. Bacco? No, that's the brand. <laughs> what, is, what is one of these called, please? One of uh, my four questions. That's one. That is a Allen key T bar. I said Allen key. Here we go. I don't know what size I need. Five mil. Absolutely not. <laughs> four mil? Oh, it fits. Okay, I'm undoing the screw on the sump guard. And I know that lefty Lucy and righty tighty. Uh, I'm going to put them somewhere. This looks like a good tray. <laughs> oh, it's magnetic. That's all your stuff there in case it goes missing. Okay. Oh, hello. Ding! I expect there's two holes under here. And given that gravity works to move things downwards, you'd expect that the holes would be directly underneath. I would read the manual right now. <laughs> right, the first one is place a suitable container under the engine. I feel like we haven't even got that far for there to be any oil yet, so we'll wait for that. Uh, remove oil drain plug with the magnet and seal ring. So those two ones I saw 
hold the engine in place and then it, the, it's on the front. One should be like here somewhere. Oh, is it on this side? Oh, it is. I was looking on the wrong side. And that is a spanner type shape. This is harsh. Remove oil drain plug with the magnet. No one said what the magnet is. The, oh, ah, yes, no. Oh, it moves as I do it. Nope. <laughs> is that overkill? <laughs> that is the wrong tool for the job. Okay. <laughs> A spanner will do the job. Is there one that will do it better? No. Okay. Oh, God. Before we go any further, can we go back to the first step in the manual? Park the motorcycle on a level surface. And then what? I remember <gasps> you saying it. I've got to start the engine. Oh, to an operating temperature. Correct. What, what is it, how long does it need to run for? Do I need to rev it? Do I need to ride it? So, okay. Is that fine? Yeah. Done? I mean, operating temperature. The engine, you're kind of around 90 degrees, but that's really hot. Like the oil will be red hot. And on this bike, with the way the drain plug comes out, I think is a bit dangerous. So I never go fully hot. Okay. Is heating the oil, is the aim of that to change the viscosity so it drains better? Bada bing, bada boom. <laughs> and this one is undone because I'm assuming it goes underneath anywhere around here. And then it will by magic, fall into that hole. I haven't got much faith in the manual, to be honest. I still don't know what the magnet is. So the hole is like here. So I'm assuming it might shoot forward a bit. So I'll kind of put it like there. Yeah. Okay. Send it. What a rubbish design. <laughs> I don't know if it is, it fits, but I don't know if a one could be better. Yes, I think it's a 13. So with the spanner, if you can use the ring end, <gasps> the open end is only really for when you can't get the ring end on. But it's not that shape. No, so that's a, tw uh, a 12 sided spanner. So oh, okay. it will fit still, but when you've got the ring end on, you have a much better fit, so it's much harder to slip off. Okay, lefty Lucy, clockwise. Oh my God. Oh, I can see it kind of from here. Can I hold on to anything? Is it hot? Oh my. <laughs> Are you doing it the right way? How dare you talk to me like that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, lefty Lucy, clockwise. No, it's not, is it? <laughs> Oh my God, no, it's not moving. Are you sure this is the best tool for the job? Have you just said, oh yeah, use a spanner, but actually a mechanical arm might be better. <laughs> I don't think on this bike you can get a socket on there. So I don't think you can get a socket on, but we're gonna try one because sometimes you can get a bit more leverage, a bit more strength behind it. Um, but you might also find that sometimes it's easier to push away rather than pull towards you when you need to be strong. You see, this one is basically too small to fit, so we have to do it with the spanner fine. Sometimes it's easier to go this way round so that it's close, and then you can push away. <gasps> oh, you did it. So, I'm gonna do it back up, and you can have a go. Okay. So the angled side like that. Correct. Um, oh yeah, it's actually easier to do it from this side. The manual did show a clutch in there, so I should have maybe gathered that. A clutch? A gear lever. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I do not think the clutch is there. I just got confused. Uh... So did you notice I put the, uh, my other hand on the seat and I pulled, yeah, so I pulled the bike towards me and then I pushed the spanner away. Oh, I'll just do this back up again. <laughs> yeah. Okay. There you go. Is it Done. gonna come out? Do I take it all out? When's it gonna come out? Should I worry? Is it gonna be hot? <laughs> so many questions. <laughs> oh, I'm so. <gasps> oh. Wow, you got the like gear, uh, the position so good. Where is this? Is this the magnet? Have I found the magnet? <laughs> Success. <laughs> <laughs> this whole end bit is a magnet. There's like bits on it that are sticking out, like little metal things. And is this the oil, what is it called, the seal? It's just a washer though. 
I mean, not that guy. He, he, he holds the chain in place. This guy? Oh, this is an even more of a horrible one. I would suggest a tool change, mostly because we own this bike. Okay, so this tool. Yes, but... Okay. Oh no, this is the one that I do. So that's... Oh, I can't work this out. Hang on, wait. Nope. So doing that would go... Oh, you told me about this actually. You have to hold it on, like push down and then like... <laughs> I don't think I can do this. I think you can. Is this gonna work? Is it meant, does this go on there? Oh, I didn't push in the button. When you use a ratchet on something <laughs> tight, it's always helpful to think about the angle you're pushing with, so you've got the most strength. If you're put, like at the moment, the angle your arm is on is on quite, is quite weird, like you don't have a lot of power pulling inwards. Ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you hold it on. <laughs> oh no, it's draining on my... <gasps> What is that? Ah. <laughs> There's nothing inside. No? So it's just, all of that is what it, the manual said? Yeah. Yeah, it's like a fine mesh gauze thing. Thoroughly clean the parts and sealing surfaces. What do you clean it with? Oil. That's not liquid, Molly. Put it down. Chain loop. <laughs> <laughs> yep. We don't have a full filter kit, so you don't want to spray anything that's made with like a petrochemical on rubber. Mm -hmm. A degreaser would disintegrate or deform the rubber, okay. as you can see. Um, and it gets little particulates in it. There's a couple in there, you can see them. Mm -hmm. So because we don't want to spray petrochemicals on this, but we want that particulate gone, um, but you can pop these little O-rings off very carefully using a pick or a tiny flat blade screwdriver. Mm -hmm. And then we can clean it with parts of the greaser. You can spray it out. Okay, this guy's a little bit sludgy. Wow, look at all the metal things. Just is that. Okay, yeah. So far, I'm having minimal success. I feel like this needs to be even thinner. So there's a couple of ways you can do this. If you haven't got the right tool, we've just got a tiny flat blade screwdriver. So you can pinch it like, oh, et voila. A little pinch, just enough. Then the screwdriver goes in. You can get it up, no damage done. You can just roll it over. Oh, I didn't realise it was a tiny little thing. I thought yeah. the whole—I thought it was a whole cap. Engine degreaser smells like rice. What rice are you eating? <laughs> Oily rice on just on the inside. Uh, I would do the inside and the outside. You're trying to blast out the little particles. Ah, uh, okay. What's that nice jumper you're wearing? Oh, this is a break magazine hoodie that you can uh, purchase on the online shop. So I'm gonna just put these back on by like rolling them on. Pinch through the drilled hole of the screw plug on the opposite section of the engine case. That whole sentence was overwhelming. <laughs> As in like push it through all the way to the other side. I feel like this is very much a stabbing around in the dark. Ah, oh, it just clicked. It clicked? Yeah, is that right? It looks right. I've got two of them and I can't remember which one it is. So let's just see which one fits. Mount and tighten screw plug with the O-ring guideline. Screw plug oil screen M20 times 1.5. <gasps> Torque wrench. It's telling me to do it to 15 Newton meters. So it says 15 Nm. Oh no, we've got the, the little paddle of doom. I don't know which way goes what. So I believe this should do like a when it's like the tightness, the pressure that uh, you specified on it. I got it. <laughs> Isn't it supposed to click? Yeah. I thought there was some kind of satisfying... <laughs> it has not done it yet. Oh yeah, there's something wrong there. Definitely feels a bit... But you, you know, you can't really use a torque wrench like this, to be honest. This torque wrench only goes to 20 as its lowest point, then really it doesn't work below that. So we do have another torque wrench that goes only to 24, but it's in the van and we can't be bothered to get it. So I just put Because you know how, there. like, by hand, how tight it should be, and I don't. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mount and tighten the oil drain plug with the magnet and a new seal ring. I see there are some here, so it must be right. Either way, it doesn't, spe it doesn't specify, put it on the right way. It just says, replace it. 
It looks the same. Oh, this is fiddly, isn't it? Getting the oil screw thing back on. Right. This way round. That way round? This way, oh yeah, that makes more sense. <laughs> so that's loose, that's tight. So that's finger tight, so a bit more. Next, remove screws for from the oil filter cover with the O-ring. Can this, which is like a hexagon, work on like a star-shaped nut? No. Oh, it's bending. <gasps> yes. You've done this one. Oh, <gasps> pill the... Is, that, is there a filter in there? Bing, 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 bing! Oh, that's what the flies are for! <laughs> oh no, I can just do that. Oh, hello. You're fun. Do I have to clean it all the way inside? So I have to like put like paper towel like all the way in there to clean. No spaces like this. Mm. Mm. And as if by magic, I've got the new oil filter. <laughs> you haven't read all the steps. Where's the oil filter? <laughs> but you don't get the oil filter till you pre complete the previous step. What brand of oil is that you've got there? Liquid Molly. <laughs> I mean, luckily, this is not particularly heavy. Does it have to be a third specifically? That's How on earth are you supposed to guess that? Oh, I think I can see the halfway mark. I'm assuming the end with a hole in it goes first because that's where the oil, there's like a hole in there. And so that's where it comes into it. Por que no? <gasps> Beep. Is that it? Oily, oily. Okay, so that's tight. So like, boom. And fill up with engine oil. How, do you have like a jug or something? How do you know what's one liter? It's got measurements on the side. <coughs> do I feel like? You're in the home stretch. Yes, because now we just have to fill it up. And I've seen something which is the most useful thing of the whole process is that this actually just says oil. I'm assuming the viewer is on this side. Middle of the viewer. Is it in here? Yes. Ah, oh, it's very dirty. So if you wait till you can see it in the spyglass with it on the side stand, it's too late. That's oh, too much it's oil. Not yeah, Level. and then you'll have overfilled it. Okay. And hot tip, overfilling oil, nightmare to fix. Underfilling, very easy, put more oil in. Overfilling, impossible. Oh, you have to drain it all again. Or you have to have a syringe and suck it. It's a nightmare. <laughs> all right, I've only put a little bit in, so I'll just keep plodding on with this. Yeah, I think that's pretty much bang on halfway. Boom. Well, that was close. I only stopped by chance. Wait, is that now full or would it, will it keep like le leaching into here? No, it should be pretty good, but I would read the manual for the last step. Okay. Um, and then finishing work, check the engine oil level. Loose. I'm really sorry. The microphone's not been working. <laughs> I was like... <laughs> Or like, what happens if I've done something wrong? How will I know? It'll spontaneously combust. Well, actually. The world will end. Yeah. This deserves a high five. With my horrible Yes, work. with your oily hand. <laughs> Congratulations. You have achieved your first oil change. <laughs>